Hello and welcome. In this video we're going to be looking at a game called Disaster Master. Disaster Master is a little bit of a party survival type of game. In the way that one player is going to be the Disaster Master, which controls all of the situations, while all of the other players are survivors. All of the survivors are tasked with surviving throughout all of the situations and the end timer. Before we dive too deep into the gameplay, we're going to dive into a few of the mechanics. The game has a total of four different currencies, LP, tokens, cash, and your leveling system. Your level is in charge of unlocking different abilities, different disasters, and different perks. Cash is the main currency for purchasing everything that you are able to unlock with your level. The final two currencies are a little bit unnecessary, but it's good to understand them. LP is going to be your score. Basically for leaderboards. It's all for ranking. Lastly, tokens are kind of odd. They're odd in the essence that I'm not sure the player really needs to see them or know about them. The game does randomization to choose who will be the disaster master by taking all of the tokens that every single player has and putting them into a bowl. The more tokens you have, the more likely you will be the disaster master. When you start the game, you'll be given a bunch of disasters by default. All of these can be swapped out and changed with ones that you purchase. However, there is a limitation on how many disasters you can have in a loadout. I believe the number is about five and each disaster has different qualifications for using them. It's like a stamina bar. You have a certain amount of stamina and you can't use a disaster if you're way too low on stamina during a game. So it is always good to have a very low cost disaster while playing the game just so you get the full amount of stamina depleted. The final game mechanic is going to be abilities. These can be unlocked with your level and can also be purchased with cash. Both the disaster master and survivors can have perks and ability. A large amount of these are just going to be passives like survivors get a speed boost or you can now sprint as a survivor while the disaster master is increasing your stamina and so on. As for the actual gameplay in this game, all of the survivors have to survive for a duration of time and the disaster master can use any of their abilities at disposal as many times as they can afford. There is a large selection of different disasters such as tsunamis, lasers, meteors, and so on. On top of this, the game comes with a bunch of different maps for everyone to enjoy and play on. The game is pretty unique in the essence that all of the maps are in a 2D, 2.5D perspective. This makes it a little bit easier to control the disasters from a mechanical view point and it's also fun to see and try to find all of the survivors in the map. Some of the rubble that does get detached from such as buildings or structures can be beneficial to survivors if they're able to hide around them. This game is really fun and I honestly would recommend grabbing a group of friends and trying it out. That is going to be everything for this video. I hope you found a great and fun game to play and I will see ya.